Hi, welcome back to Circus with Angel. Today we will make a 3D cat, which is more advanced than the last video I made. And I mean a lot more advanced. It was originally made to look almost exactly like a cat, so I could have a better reference when drawing cats, but it didn't really help me much at all, so I decided to make a video about it because I haven't made any videos for a really long time, and apparently cat videos are really popular. So make a new design on Tinkercad and start making a sphere and make it 28.26 millimeters wide on this side and 24.96 millimeters wide on the other side and 24.66 millimeters high. That will be the head and then we will make the ears. Take out a paraboloid and make it 14.47 millimeters wide on this side and 11.64 millimeters wide on this side. Then make it 16.72 millimeters tall. Take out another paraboloid and make it into a hole, since cat's ears aren't solid. The first way to do it is to tilt it forward by 22.5 degrees, and then to the side by 22.5 degrees. Do the same for the other paraboloid. Adjust it until you think it looks good. I personally like this spacing between the ears, or you could just copy and paste one ear and mirror it and put it on the other side, which is much, much easier. Next, to make the mouth, take out a sphere and make it 6.37 millimeters tall. Then make it 7.84 millimeters wide on one side and 7.27 millimeters on the other. Now move it into the original sphere, the face, 7 millimeters higher making sure it sticks out a lot, but not fully. Then copy and paste that sphere and move it beside it, the original. They should slightly overlap. Then copy paste again and move it down and put it underneath the area where the two spheres above overlap. Then move that sphere more into the original. Then take the round roof object to make it the bridge of the nose. Make it 7 millimeters wide and 2 millimeters tall. Then move it into the sphere above the upper two circles. Then to make a nose, take the roof object, I changed the color just because I want to, and rotate it by 180 degrees. Then make it 2 millimeters tall and 5 millimeters wide. It gets to be that small in the end. Then move the nose into the middle of the bridge of the nose. You can shrink the back side, but since it goes into the sphere, it doesn't matter unless it sticks out onto the other side. It's starting to look like a cat now. Now we will make it the more refined head shape by making it look like kind of like a cat skull shape. So we take a sphere and make it into a hole. Make it 10.98 millimeters on one side and 9.27 millimeters on the other side and 8.6 millimeters tall. Then move it into the head until it looks like it's in a spot that an eye would go, and copy and paste it and move it onto the other side. Then make another hole and make it 6.24 millimeters on one side, and 5.65 millimeters on the other. Then lift it up and place it above the bridge of the nose. Then group it together. If it looks at it too deep in, then ungroup it and move it, the holes a bit out. Now we make the eyes. Take a sphere out and make it 7.27 millimeters on one side and 8.23 millimeters on the other, and it's 7 millimeters tall. If it turns out the way mine did, just hit rotate it till it faces the front. Then lift it into the eye space. If it looks too big or too small, you can adjust the size. When you like the size of the eye, you copy paste it and move it onto the other side. It may look off and you can rotate it and resize it to your liking. Now that was just the base of the eye. To make the center or pupil of the eye, take out another sphere and make it 3 millimeters on both sides and 4 millimeters tall. Then move it into the eye until it gets in the center or around the center. You can make it bigger or smaller. I made it bigger. Once you are satisfied with the shape, copy and it, paste it, and move it onto the other side until it looks symmetrical, or the same on both sides. We are going to move on to building the body now. Group the head, since I have different colors, I will press the multicolor button so I can still distinguish the parts. 
To make the body, take out another sphere and make it 50 millimeters long and 25 millimeters wide. Then lift the body up until it's almost touching the head. Then tilt the body by 5 degrees. You will move it around in this part a lot, building the legs. To make the neck, take out a cylinder and move it to the neck part of the cat between the head and the body. When you have it, make it at 7 millimeters tall and tilt it by 22.5 degrees. Then adjust it to your liking. I personally like the neck a bit thinner. Once you have the neck, the body might not be angled correctly, so you can also angle this to connect with the neck. You can pause here or any time, but we're going to be making the legs now. We're making the front legs first. Take a sphere and make it at 13 mm wide on this side and 14 mm wide on the other, and 11 mm tall. Then make a shoulder height while moving it into the body. Once you are satisfied, copy and paste it and move it onto the other side of the body. Then take it out, another cylinder, and lift the body a little bit higher than the cylinder. And move the cylinder into the sphere we made earlier. Then make it 8 millimeters wide on both sides and tilt it by 10 degrees. Then copy and paste it to the other side. Then to make the lower part of the leg, copy and paste the cylinder again and mirror it, making it shorter until it just barely connects with the other cylinder. Then copy and paste it again and move it onto the other leg. If the legs look too long, you can just make it shorter and then put the body down on the shorter legs. The same applies if you want it taller. Now make the paws. Take out a half sphere and make it 10 millimeters on 12 millimeters on the other, and 6 millimeters tall. Then copy and paste the paw and move it onto the other side. Then we make the back legs. Take out a sphere and make it 20 millimeters long and 12 millimeters wide. Then rotate it by 67.5 degrees. It may not look like it, but it makes a difference. Then lift it up and put it into the body of the cat. And then rotate it by 9 degrees. Then copy and paste the front leg and move it into the back leg. Then just copy and paste that leg and move it onto the other side. Now we're almost done. Just to get the tail now. To make the tail, take out a torus and make it 40 millimeters on both sides and 9 millimeters tall. Then take out a box, make it cover half the torus. Then group them together and you have your tail. Then move it up and into the back of the cat. Then rotate it till it stands up. If you think it is too big, you can adjust the size. Now that we are done, I will color the shapes. You don't have to, but I like to. Then group it all together and you are ready to print it. If you have any suggestions for tutorials I could make, feel free to email or comment on this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.